Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video, um, just pretty much updating you all on what I'm doing, like what my stats are and things. Um, uh, firstly, I guess, like, probably two weeks ago now, um, I was, that was when I posted my last video, and I had 90 Dungeoneering, um, if you can see now, I'll move this down here real quick. I now have 99. Uh, that took me about 10 days, I think. 10 days from 90 to 99, so that's really not that bad. It was about 8 mil XP, something like that, in 10 days. Um, also, I hit 2,400 total. Uh, plus, I got 99 farming. I had 98 in my previous video. Uh... So if I show you a couple of things, um, these were my first two chaotic items, the longsword and kite shield, and uh, that was when I was at 90 Dungeoneer and I had these two, and then I got the rapier for slayer purposes, uh, then I got the mole just to have some fun, max hits and falls, then the last one that I got when I was, I think I was 98 when I got it, uh, was the Chaotic Staff, again for, you know, max hitting with the mage, I got the Arcane Stream Necklace as well, uh, for like Ice Strike Worms and stuff for my Slayer tasks, uh, I've also got a Sears Ring Imbued and a Zerka Ring Imbued, so, <clears throat> that's all good stuff, um, I guess you want to see the K. Oh yeah, I got my SGS as well to, you know, get some health back. Uh, it's my farming cape. Uh, looks a bit dirty <laughs> on high detail. It doesn't look that good. If I quickly switch details, do -do 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 -do. Uh, if you go on minimum detail, oh, it's going to change the screen size. Great custom. All right, it looks really shit, but it makes the farming cape look better. <laughs> Cause look at look how bright the it looks nice, but we're gonna go back into high detail anyway, because low detail sucks. Turn off, turn that on, turn off roofs, and turn off. That's it. Um, so yeah, it's like, but it's alright. The emote obviously. A lot of people know it sucks pretty much. Unless you're a girl, this moat just sucks. It's like, oh, these these flowers smell so pretty. <laughs> no, no. The cape's nice, but yeah. And obviously, here's my dungeoneering cape. It's pretty nice. Well, it's brown, so it looks like shit, but it's nice and it's got a nice emote. As you can see, that was the uh, melee emote because. A lot of people don't realise that the emote is actually based on what your stats are at. Like, a lot of people thought it was if you was obviously I'm wielding a staff, which means it's mage. So people thought that you know you'd do the mage emote if you're wearing a staff in it, but that's actually incorrect because this staff has quite a high crush bonus. So it will do the melee emote because my magic bonus is only 18 right now because I haven't actually got anything on. If I'd switch to this stuff where my magic bonus is over my other stats it should in theory do the mage emote see that now it's a mage um, and obviously same again if you had a crossbow one but your mage bonus was higher than your range then it would still do the mage one and yeah before anyone asks it is a lent piat <laughs> don't, don't like oh look it's got a red marker noob yeah, no shit, it's lent. <laughs> I ain't got like one bill to spend on that shit. I don't need to go with my farming cape. Farming cape. And, um, yeah, pretty much. Don't know what else I can say in this video, really. Um, apart from the fact that RuneScape announced on the homepage, not many people saw it because it wasn't officially, like, it wasn't the big front page thing. It was like underneath some shit. That the there's a double XP weekend coming up in March. So right now the like RuneScape economy's turned to shit and um, everything's crashing. Um, 
but I'm not going to bother selling anything because I'm not one of the noobs that like panic and go sell all their shit to be honest because it's just going to go back up afterwards anyway and you're just going to end up having less money afterwards than you did previously so I'm just going to hang on to it all plus I fucking I keep selling my Zerk like unimbuing my Zerk ring and selling it again and I've like used I've used millions of uh stealing no not stealing creation mobilising army credits it costs 200,000 credits per time to imbue a ring and I've imbued so many rings and unimbued them again so many times it's unbelievable so I can't sell them anymore because I'm running out of points <laughs> and uh yeah um what else I think that's about it to be honest I think that covers every, everything that I was going to say um yeah I think so I think that's it um, subscribe all that sort of shit that people usually say leave a comment even though no one ever comments on videos anymore no one ever presses the like button because it's so much of a chore that it's so hard to click the mouse over a like button like that is insane anyways <laughs> I'm gonna go peace